What's going on guys, Kyger here, and today I'm joined by a fellow content creator, PH4. We're going to be going over the big debacle that happened right after the patch. Uh, I stayed silent on it a little bit just to see if Netmarble uh, came forward to say anything, and if any uh, receipts came forward, and we got a couple, so let's get into it. Alright guys, I'm joined by a fellow content creator, PH4. What's going on, man? Oh, good, my man. Thanks for having me. Of course, uh, just like the signal boost uh, lower guys, I'm sure we'll do um, another one with uh, new Magneto offers. Because uh, that's something Definitely. you like to do. Definitely, I for that, my man. <laughs> but uh, we're here for very somber uh, reasons. Uh, so, uh, do you want to start with the, uh, the timeline? Yeah, can go over if you'd like. So, as you guys know, we've been hit with a massive, uh, update this week. Unfortunately, brought a lot of bugs, including a massive issue with special operations, where your normal stats would apply if you changed skill presets in uh, the game mode. So they have released a hotfix, or they, they did a quick hotfix on that the next day. Unfortunately, when they opened, up, they opened the game back up, there was 10 minutes where all of the rewards have been reset. These rewards were the hero upgrades uh, stuff and the squad uh, upgrade items. So that's basically about $1,000, $1,500 worth of items that people were able to claim. That's actually thinking that that's per hero. So that was that was quite a big, big deal. And then Netmarble quickly shut the game back down and did another hotfix on this. Now, so something I'd like to touch on is this is very common in all mobile gaming. Even it's uh, gone over into a lot of PC games. And just uh, so the viewers understand, what this is, is uh, games and patches are never released 100% done. Uh, they, they follow a very strict 70-30 rule. And this really started about 8 to 10 years ago in the gaming market. And what that means is they release it 70% done and uh, they save the man hours for that extra 30% by doing it over time in the coming days and weeks. They wait for uh, the players to find the issues and fix them as they arise. Uh, b just because they don't want to pay the man hours to do the playtesting. Uh, they also obviously can't, uh, with 20 or whatever people that are in the office, they can't do the playtesting that millions of players can, right? So uh, that's just uh, how the gaming market has been going. And uh, so we have, there was the initial issue, which um, there's there were a bunch of bugs. The first one that people really honed in on was Spec Ops. You've probably seen some really crazy numbers going around. Uh, and the 2 million, 2.2, I even saw a 2.6. And what's going on there is as everyone knows, Spec Ops doesn't give you any kind of bonuses, no gear, no no cards, no nothing. Uh, what happens is uh, you go into the Spec Ops, and then when you go into Spec Ops, instead of ABC, it goes to 1, 2, 3, because it tries to go to the oldest version of the game, and which only does the gear. Uh, and what happens is when you uh, change your uh, preset of your gear, uh, it is then resetting, giving you that gear, which obviously lets you blow your uh, teammates out of the out of the park, right? So uh, they everyone blew up the forums, and then uh, Netmarble or someone in charge uh, pulled the plug, and uh, it came. Well, they waited till the next reset. And then took it down for a while. And then for about 10-15 minutes, people were uh, claiming all of these rewards right here. Uh, it's a little blurry. But as you see, this specific individual, name is a uh, name and picture are blocked out. 
went from 120 to 159 with uh, all of its claims. Uh, from all the receipts I've seen, it's anywhere between two characters worth or up to five characters worth uh, claiming all of uh, the hero and squad level up. Uh, have you seen anything differently? No, that's pretty much the same as it is on my end, so yeah. Okay. So from there, uh, a, the same individual was posting uh, more receipts, which I wanted to go over. And this one right here is the one that uh, uh, PH4 called attention to. Because if we go to this first one over here, this is just a breakdown of what is in the two combined. As you see, you know, Omega card, gold, crystals, squad XP, potential reports, a bunch of stuff. But what you don't see is uh, core, uh, a five-star core or a five-star Omega card Omega box. Class. But uh, over here, we see, obviously, have the two. And PH4 called attention to this because at squad rank 200 your squad training gives you specifically those rewards uh, as well as uh, some of these other uh, ones right here like the Convergium uh, the uh, squad specialization stuff and what's interesting is the guy went to 159 shown here but uh, this is probably just when he took the screenshot right so uh, it's possible he went from 120 to 200. He has not shown that screenshot, but there is nothing else that he is getting these rewards from. Uh, the only possible things are the uh, raid uh, side missions and the PIM, the Tony and the PIM uh, quest for hitting level 100, but uh, those don't give boxes. Those just give you the actual core and Omega card. So this part right here does not seem to match up, right? Yeah, that's why sure. So it's it, it must be coming from the squad training or or something like that. Uh, but let me go over to this one. Uh, another individual that said that they uh, did do it, uh, but they were still having issues with the uh, the PIM tickets, which I thought was pretty funny and wanted to call attention to. This is a separate individual, um, is a spinner in the game, and still doesn't have the PIM things to catch up after claiming these, which I think calls attention to the uh, PIM research tasks. I just wanted to point that out. And to point out that like that was with two characters, he said. He, called out, he claimed with two extra characters. Two characters and still cannot do the PIM. Yep. Which is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, uh, it shows like uh, those those rewards are like how much more of those we need to actually get uh -huh. our squad power levels up to match our squad ranks. So I was hoping that uh, um, not we keep saying net marble, but uh, the dev team, because even though the people in charge are Kabam, net marble. Uh, Kabam recently took over, so they probably aren't don't have their foot in the door really yet. Uh, so it is mostly net marble at this point, I would imagine. And uh, right now, the people who do the end game stuff here, uh, do the coding and stuff, are the devs, not net marble. But any kind of compensation has to go through them, which unfortunately this happened on a Thursday night, Friday morning, so. The fastest I would imagine anything is Monday or Tuesday, really, right? And I'm also kind of suspicious that they also want to wait until the half year anniversary stuff is over. Because obviously, should they give out all these draw ticket selection boxes and I can't really remember like what else are in the squad rank and hero level up uh, stuff. But Maybe if I'm correct, there is about banners, right? Yes, exactly. And also the crystals, because a lot of people mentioned that they collected a total of like 20,000 crystals. So mm -hmm. obviously that's 10 temples straight up. 
actually 11 so yeah that's that's quite big as well like thinking there are the there are the new special omega uh, token items that are cheaper than the other ones so on top of getting those all those free items which i mentioned it's it's about like a thousand pounds worth on top of that you could also get the goodies like special costumes special cars special everything from all the different banners which yeah. a lot of people mentioned they have now what we do have to call attention to as you kind of uh, brushed past it there is the Omega, uh, the elephant in the room here is the Omega uh, point shop, right? Uh, yeah. There were reports that uh, during that time people were able to snag up anything in the Omega shop uh, for one Omega point. And I've seen this right here, uh, 120, 159, but I've seen different numbers showing it's not just this one guy that did it. Uh, I've seen at least three different variations of this, so at least three people did it. But I haven't seen a single receipt or anyone even pointing it in the direction of a receipt. Of, uh, like, even just showing, like, a, a storage full of these boxes that you would get from it. Uh, which I'm sure someone would have somewhere if it happened. Um, I mean, I put out the feelers that I would accept anything and do exactly what I did here. Uh, blur out name and everything like that just to show that it happened uh, and I I can't find anything about this uh, Omega Point thing yourself yeah the same thing on my end I've, I've been searching but I cannot see any proof but just a lot of rumors I actually just popped on uh, the forum as well and there is one guy who is claiming there were multiple uh, people in his alliance who actually managed to do this but again without any proof so we don't know however like for example on my server there's been a guy who popped up all of a sudden yesterday with a fully nanode uh, rotor set who wasn't there uh it was that 48 hours before mm -hmm. so i mean unless someone just decided to randomly spend 20 30 thousand on rolls that's kind of impossible to get there so quick out of nowhere really Mm -hmm. So that's also like very suspicious, but obviously there's just, uh, you know, uh, something that I'm just thinking is obviously nothing, nothing provable. Like it's also, people. if you have a full nano regional, right, you're not going to swap over to the special and unless it's up to snuff. So uh, like myself, I have a full nano Hydra, but I'm working up a Rise of the East and I'm not going to swap over to it till it's uh, at least as powerful as my Hydra. So it could be yeah, that yeah. that was a coincidence. We can't really force that, but it is suspicious, hundred percent. But um, yeah, that... just a uh, just a uh, because we're already doing this. I don't normally like to call attention to the current bugs in the game, uh, just because that's uh, normally like a thirty second thing, and that that's not really a whole video. I think we should call attention to the other bugs that are currently happening in the game. Uh, one of the big ones. Uh, was brought to my attention earlier today and that is uh, the preset change so there was the issue before where as you changed presets uh, it would refresh your um, specialization so widows revive I did a big video on that uh, as well as two other characters uh, Captain Marvel and Spider-Man if they would uh, die or trigger their passive it would now work with Captain America if it still happened uh, they could change their preset and then get the revive over and over again and keep swapping. Uh, they fixed that, but kind of shifted it. And what I mean by that is it no longer does that, but any percentage-based damage you have, so like a 30% base damage on your skills or whatever, if you keep swapping up to 20 times uh, your third, if you have a 30% bonus damage on a, on a, a preset, and you keep swapping, and every preset has that specialization, you can um, additive, add them together up to 20 times, making that 30%, 600%. I have uh, seen video proof of this, and it is currently happening. Uh, the person that I saw the video proof on went into a coal raid, level 5, without anything on, uh, had... Um, like plus 90 something from uh, specializations, swap, 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 20 times, hit electrocute with storm, dead. 
which uh, is a big issue, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. It sounds like a dream, though, if you are on the receiving end, but yeah, definitely game-breaking bug there. <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's some minor other things in the game, but I think that's the only uh, major one currently happening, unless you have something to add. I don't have a knowledge of any other ones at the moment, to be fair. So I've just saw this on Discord as well before we started recording. Okay. So that, that that's the latest one for me too. Okay, but uh, so here's a we talked about the issue, right? And what I've uh, I do management at my job, and something that we're always taught is, okay, sure you have a problem, what is the solution? And uh, I've seen a lot of people calling for a rollback, and People have already opened these boxes. They've already, uh, uh, you know, turned these costumes into nanos, things like that. So a rollback doesn't actually work, right? Uh, yeah. The only uh, possible uh, thing to do is everyone who did not get it, so first they have to uh, figure out who got it, which that already causes its own uh, thing of issues and give that to the other players. Now, I think this is a reasonable option because in Marvel Strike Force, uh, they had a, uh, it wasn't uh, recent, it was uh, about a year and a half to two years ago, they had a similar issue where uh, there was a big, big uh, thing of rewards that just gave you a big uh, chunk of stuff and people were able to claim it two or three times extra. Mm -hmm. And it was enough stuff to do, let's say, um, equating it to this game, uh, like two or three pieces of full nano gear, uh, uh, special gear. Uh, two or three pieces, full six star nano, just ready to go. Rise of the East, just plop them on. Nice, uh, sounds good. Uh, effectively, that amount of stuff. Okay. And okay. Uh, what uh, they did was they just said, oh yeah, we found out uh, the 1,300 or whatever people who got that, put them to the side and gave everyone else that stuff. And I think this, uh, I think this as a jet would be a really good gesture for the player base, just to have a windfall. I think this would really tie into their uh, six month anniversary uh, of people who didn't really know about what happened or whatever, to just be like, Oh, that's so awesome. They gave us the stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. They could just go ahead and say that, like, yeah, here are all these rewards, guys, and you are welcome, instead of actually pointing out that, like, we are doing this because we messed up. Well, I mean, that's they'll say it in the point. email, but no one reads the emails. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. I know what you mean, yeah. uh, but, yeah. um. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was going to say, um,. Uh, I think that's the only way they can handle this uh, realistically, and that is probably why we didn't hear anything on Friday, because they're uh, trying to see in the back end if they can do that. Um, Kabam did not uh, make this game. Uh, Kabam is known for their kind of spaghetti code in the background, so it's hard to do that kind of stuff with Kabam games in the background. But uh, Netmarble worked on this, and Netmarble is actually pretty clean with their code. Sure, they have their bugs and stuff, but as far as the back end, if they click send, it usually shows up where they click to go. Um, they have a good track record of that. In the, I haven't played all their games, but from everything I've looked up uh, trying to make this video, um, the five or six times I can see they've made uh, big blunders like this, they've done exactly this. Um, is they did a big uh, send out, click uh, everyone else send, and everyone got it in their mailbox uh, when they said it would show up. Yeah, like uh, that's actually what I wanted to say as well. That, like I think I also think that this is literally the only way to go to give out the rewards for everyone. And I also wanted to touch on the fact that like it's not like this is the first time it happened. I'm not sure if you remember, but like in the first month there was uh, a couple of bundles. I think like two or three of bundles that some people were able to buy. Ah, uh, you're talking about the uh, Dark Domain Part One. Uh, there were uh, two. Uh, twenty uh, twenty six ninety nine offers, uh, one for cards, one for uh, 
one for cards, one for costumes, uh, that uh, gave you a ten pool and an amount of tickets, and yeah, I think, uh, yeah. someone was able to buy it uh, twenty-seven times each. Yes, yes, that's the one exactly. So then they put so it they in the shop. Uh, twenty-seven mm -hmm. purchases. Yeah, so they managed to figure out, like, they managed to track it down, who was the person who purchased it the most times on the servers, and they just gave out that number and, like, included it in the shop. So it's not like they couldn't do the same exact thing here as well, because they know exactly what the rewards were, what rewards were bugged. They can just track down, like, which people claimed how many. They can find who was the person who claimed it the most, and they should be giving it out to all, mm -hmm. uh, all the others. That's a, that's actually a really good uh, thing to point out. I, I forgot about that until you said it, and I remembered everything about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we're actually running kind of long here. Uh, it's been great talking to you, man. Uh, tell them uh, about yourself and where they can find you. So uh, I'm a sort of new YouTuber under the name Fuskimon Gaming. That's I think uh, Kai is just gonna pop it into the description it's anyway. Be in so the description it's description below. Yep. Nice one. And I'm also just doing all random content on uh, Marvel Future Revolution for the moment, uh, mostly to statistics on pools and openings and boxes and all that stuff to see how how much are they matching what Netmobile advertises and also doing a lot of gameplay videos on top of that so if that's of interest be sure to check me out of course and uh, uh like i said his link will be in the description down below and uh, if you guys like him let me know in the comment section down below and uh, i'll try to get him in more videos till next time guys